What's going on, people? Your boy Fear Six One Seven here. Um, before I get to the topic, I got a few new people described to my channel. Just want to say welcome to my channel. And one other thing to my new subscribers, y'all need to know: when it comes down to music or any kind of award shows. I won't waste my time watching it because it's a piece of waste of fucking time. The only thing I do is get my information off the internet. And you know the PMAs took place last week. I decide to make a video about it, but I quickly changed my mind because like I said, it's a waste of fucking time, people. Miley Cyrus as host, her and that fusion between Nicki Minaj, man, that's just complete, man, that's just completely bullshit. I don't got no respect for both of them. They just acting so ghetto ratchet. And I heard a whole lot of bad things about, you know, last week's video music award. So I won't not waste my time talking about it because, like I said, it's it's just fucking garbage. And that's for you, Kanye West. This is mainly the video about right here. It's about you. Now, everybody that be, uh, you know, follow me throughout my videos, I've been talking about Kanye West since day one of the, yeah, y'all get the picture. So, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to retire myself from talking about Kanye West. But every time when Kanye be saying something dumb, you know, saying something stupid, this idiot wants me to come out of retirement, calling out of the sewers like I'm a fucking Ninja Turtle, and just put this fool in his place. Now, last week, yeah, when Kanye won the Fangar Award, which, which I just don't give a fuck about. Yeah, so when he won the award, this guy made a 10-minute speech, making his rants and all that stuff. And I was eating this nice ooh, chicken dinner. Oh, man. Man, that dinner was so tasty. Yeah, so I was eating and watching this idiot making his 10-minute rant. At the end of the video, he said, in the year 2020, he won't become president of the United States. When he mentioned that, I almost nearly choked on my food. And I'm just looking at him like, I know this fool is not taking this shit seriously. Come on, Kanye West, President of the United States. Is this is a fucking joke. Being the president is a fucking responsibility, my friend. My best buddy in the whole wide world. Nobody's not going to take you seriously as fucking president, man. Especially these little council fushies you get yourself involved with. You don't respect the paparazzi. You just ran about anything about stuff that is not going your way, when you be performing, you getting booed at, and you talking about you want to become president of the United States, come on, Kanye, seriously, nobody's not going to take you serious as fucking president. When people are going to look at your name on the ballot, they're going to look like, who the fuck is this person? And then 
when they're going to look at your history background, they're just going to look at you and it's, they're going to laugh at you out of your damn face. Man, if people elected Kanye West as president, you know this world's gonna really gonna be fucked up then. This might this dude might gonna stop wars with Japan, South Korea, Russia, uh China, whatever country. This dude gonna he gonna he gonna try and start fucking wars with them. And not only that. You want to do a whole lot of changes that's going to affect the economy that's really going to be fucked up. And to make things worse, you got that slut wife of yours, Kim Kardashian, going to become the first lady in the U.S.? You fucking kidding me? Man, speaking of Kim Kardashian, yes, we know that she is about to have a second baby, but y'all seen her at the music video awards? This bitch look like a fucking hippo! Kim Kardashian, the first lady. <laughs> wow, seriously. Wow, Kanye West gonna be elected as president. Yeah, we really gonna be fucked up now. Oh, and that's that's <clears throat> excuse me. Let's not forget Kanye. When it comes down to being a president, and I don't know why I'm telling you or giving you some kind of advice because you you, you know you're gonna abuse the system. Look at the scandal with Bill Clinton and Monica, Monica Lewinsky. Go and ask them about that. Oh, and let's not forget in my hometown of Detroit. Oh, but yeah, go to Oklahoma prison and talk to the former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick, which is sorry as a servant 28 years for what he did to my city with the, the sex scandals. Corruption, bribery, extortion. And now I'm laughing at his ass because ever since he's doing his time, he's trying to get a pres presidential pardon from Barack Obama. And not only that, uh, he's trying to get a new trial and shit. And the third district court in Cincinnati, Ohio, they rejected his, his request. They're like, no, motherfucker. You, what you did to the city, you deserved for your 28th sentence in prison. Yeah, Kanye, you ask these people about scandals and all that stuff. Because I can see it right now. You, as president of the United States, like I said, you're going to fuck everything up. If you do get elected, but a hundred percent, I cannot, I cannot see that shit happen as U.S. president. Yeah, you really is smoking blunt and doing drugs with Miley Cyrus. Yeah, people, I just want to get this off of my chest because, like I said, the more Kanye going to say or do some stupid things, the more he wants me to come. Out of my retirement, I mean retirement, bashing on this idiot over some stupid stuff. Kanye West as president, yeah, what a joke. Now, I'm going to try and get back on my retirement from this and Kanye. But like I said, the more this idiot going to talk stuff, some stupid stuff. The more I want to take out my belt and start whooping the senses out of his ass. 
That's all I got to say, people. Furious is one seven.